Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and yesterday we got the official reveal of all the remastered maps from the original Modern Warfare 2. What an awesome day that was, just to see all these maps yet again. Like, just for me personally, I played so much of the original Modern Warfare 2, I put so much playtime in there, I know these maps inside and out, and to see them all remastered, and faithfully remastered for the most part, and then also changing around a couple of things to make the maps look even better, like for example, Karachi was a map that I always thought was kind of meh looking back in Modern Warfare 2, it's just, I don't know, I didn't really care for it, right? Then we have the version that we're going to have in Modern Warfare 3, where it's still faithful, but it looks a lot better. It's like, well, hot damn, you got me, Sledgehammer. Holy hell, that looks fantastic. And just checking out the other maps here from the trailer that they gave us, like, the maps do look incredible. But, that being said, a lot of people are worried that Sledgehammer is going to ruin the legacy of the old Modern Warfare 2 maps because the game is going to be fundamentally different, and they are indeed going to be making changes to the maps in one way or another. For example, they got rid of the ability to drop down from the second floor and skid row down to the first floor. That's no longer going to be there because the ceiling is going to be fixed. We're going to be able to swim in the lake over on the state and go over to a diving platform, which we couldn't do back in the original Modern Warfare 2. It may not change the game fundamentally, but it's going to be something different. And not to mention, you guys know where I'm going with this. Doors, of course, have to be a part of Modern COD because reasons? I, I really have no idea. So let's just go ahead and check this out because a lot of people wanted me to talk about this. We're going to do a whole video on it. Here we have a state right beautiful looking estate but if we zoom in on the first floor balcony we see there is a door that will lead into the kitchen that was not there in the original modern warfare 2 on the back side of estate yet again as you guys can see there will indeed be a door the old classic infinity ward modern door fair is going to indeed be part of modern warfare 3 we look at skid row right here this was just meant to be actually them showing us like how they put spray paint and stuff like that on the walls but if you look at the end of the tunnel that is a two-story building that people sometimes camp in and yet again there will be a door you bet your ass there's gonna be a claymore right there behind it here we have quarry so we check out the very middle building with the crane there is indeed a door right there and if you know the layout of the map if you remember what that building was like there should be an identical door on the other end of the building as well then if we zoom in over here this is where i believe the a bomb is in search and destroy one of the bombs in search and destroy goes in that building there is indeed a door but if we look at the top of the ramp there is no door going into there and that's where i'm kind of confused as to what they're doing with it this, right because if they were to go ahead and just put a door everywhere there should be a door like in real life then the maps themselves would simply not work whatsoever I even took the time this is how dedicated I am to modern door fair by the way I went into favela and I went and recorded a shot of every single potential door that could be in favela in modern warfare 3 and spoiler alert it's well over 20 there are so many freaking doors on favela and I'm wondering to myself like are they gonna completely ruin that that map by just putting door after door after door after door. I mean, Joe Seacott's getting wet just listening to this video, I'm sure, but it turns out no, they're not going to be doing that exactly. Going back to it, yes, on Quarry, we are going to see doors in locations where there weren't previously, but we do see some footage on Favela, even as an example, where they do add doors, but other examples of places where they don't add doors. So here we have the barbershop, right? The barbershop at the very bottom of the hill, and in the original Modern Warfare 2, there's no door right there, and in Modern Warfare Warfare 3, there will also be no door there. We don't know if there's going to be a door once you get upstairs, going to the staircase itself that leads you outside, but we do know there will be no door at the very bottom of the staircase. But on the other end of the map, that little tiny shack at the top of the stairs by the soccer field, there will be a door for that tiny ass shack. For whatever reason, it will be there. But the ice cream shop in the very center of the map, where we have like the tight alleyways and stuff, there will be no door. There was no door in the original game, and there will be no door in Modern Warfare 3 either. It's just, it's confusing. Sometimes they decide, hey, we're going to put a door there, but they're like, nah, we're not going to put a door there. Another example I can give you guys is on High Rise. I didn't even notice this because we were all focused on checking out the mini UZ and the movement and things like that, but that doorway leads to one of the underground sections on High Rise, and as you can see, there is no door in there. So I suppose that's good news right there. I mean, it just kind of goes to show that sometimes there will be doors, other times there won't be. Here we have Afghan, right? You have the bunkers on Afghan. I kind of thought to myself, well, maybe they're going to put doors 
in the bunkers. Well, lo and behold, there is no door, at least here in this screenshot. So it's really hard to tell exactly what they're going to be doing in terms of changing up the map layouts themselves. I mean, what's it going to really come down to? And I know I'm going to personally do this. I'm sure plenty of other YouTubers are going to do it as well. But regardless, like when we get access to the beta, you know, and whatever maps we do have access to, I will go in there and I will change my field of view back down to 80 and I will go film side by side comparisons just to kind of get a feel, get a vibe, right, for how different the maps may or may not actually be. Like, will the estate building be a lot larger than what it actually was? Are they going to do something as simple as, you know, for example, just take everything here, the grain of salt, like take the hallway on terminal. Are they going to widen it by two feet on either side, which makes it just a bit different, right? Just a little change like that can make the map feel different. And what I liked about the original Modern Warfare Remaster with all the Call of Duty 4 maps is they didn't change anything, you know, pretty much. There's a couple glitches that they fixed in terms of maps, like the basement on Backlot comes to mind. But in general, they kept everything from the secret domination capture spots to the spawn snipes to the spawn grenades. Like they kept the maps completely faithful. Modern Warfare 3 is going to be close, but it's not going to be completely faithful. It's going to be taking the original concept and the original designs and then expanding upon them to make it fit more modern gameplay as well as brighten them up a little bit. There's plenty of examples when you go through the footage here where you just really realize that they're trying to make the maps more bright, more beautiful, more colorful, which I appreciate. I, I definitely do. I thought back in the original Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009 that the maps were beautiful, but then you see what they can do here with their technology and their lighting and stuff like that in 2023. It's like, damn, these maps actually do look a lot better. They're brightening up the maps. They're making it so it's easier to see people and stuff like that, which I'm fine with, but they will be making changes like adding doors and certain metrics are going to be larger or smaller, depending on what they feel like needs to be changed about a certain location or a certain building. And I don't know, man, like, will they ruin the original maps? We're going to have to wait and see. I think a lot of people are concerned about that because you're going to be playing on these maps that you know and love, but it's going to be a very different game, very different guns, very different movement, very different kill streaks, very different player bases compared to what we had in 2009, 2010. So will that sour the memory that people have of these maps? We'll have to wait and see. I mean, for me personally, going back to Modern Warfare Remastered, which was in Oh, God, 2016. Modern Warfare Remastered is seven years old. That is actually absurd to me. But going back to that, I just had a newfound appreciation for everything that Call of Duty 4 had, whether it was the weapons or the maps or whatever. Like, I had a whole newfound appreciation for that game after playing a remastered version of it. And I anticipate I'm going to do the same thing here with Modern Warfare 3, playing with all the OG maps here. But we're going to have to wait and see exactly what changes are going to be made. They've given us quite the teaser here. But until we can actually get our hands on it, until we get our goddamn boots on on the ground we're not gonna know for sure so we're gonna have to wait and see how it's gonna play out ladies and gentlemen and as always i'll do my best to keep you guys posted as we learn more and as this story develops but for right now that's it for this video here today i hope you enjoyed it leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day